exquisite artwork from the finest of artists. Well, maybe. From stylish designs on your animal to classic memes, artwork can be added in Atlas on a variety of objects. And all you need is some dye, a brush, and a bit of free time. Let's take a look at how to get some custom artwork into Atlas. Let's start with sails. Ship sails are constantly being seen by other players, so obviously we want them to look stylish. In this example, we're going to start with sails on the ship, because I mean, who doesn't want to look stylish? But just remember that the process we're going to use for the sails can be applied to any of the other objects. It's the same method. Before we start doing any artwork, we need a converter program. This will take a PNT file from Atlas and convert it into a PNG so we can edit it in Photoshop. We'll also need Photoshop or something similar to edit the actual image. To get the converter, you can download it in the link below, and if it's not there, Google it. I'm sure you can find it. Step 1. Craft a regular paintbrush in your personal inventory. Step 2. Start making a bunch of dyes. To make dyes, just craft a grill. Put wood in there to fire it up. Add any type of orange food, such as berries or apples. Step 3. Once your dyes are crafted, drag and drop the black dye onto your paintbrush. Swat the sail that you want to paint, and then while holding shift, paint all around the border of the sails in black dye. Make sure it's black dye. Then we're going to open up the actual converter program and open the file that we just saved. Now we have to save it again, but as a PNG, not a PNT. Remember, PNT files are for Atlas. PNG files are for Photoshop. Once we save it as a PNG, now we can open it up in Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, the first thing you're going to want to do is make boxes around all of the borders. Just fill it in on a separate layer. That way we know exactly how big the canvas is that we're working on. You could do this for all the sails. Remember, when you're adding text or something to the sail, don't hug the borders. Try to make sure you leave a little bit of buffer space in between the borders. That way you don't have text that's running off the side of your sail. Once we're done making a really cool image that we like, save it again as a PNG. Then go back to the converter program, open it up, and it should automatically convert it to Atlas style colors. It's here where we can kind of mess around with some settings now and try to make it look a little bit more pleasant. You can start with things like the dither. The higher the dither means the higher resolution or the more lines, which can help if you want more detail, but it can also look really distracting if it's too much. We can also mess around with taking out some of the colors that we don't need. This will help us later on. Think of all these colors as all of the different dyes you're going to need to have on you physically in the game. So the less we have in this, the better. You can also try to simplify it. This will just automatically take out colors that it thinks you don't need. Although it can get a little basic and a little ridiculous if you go too far. Once we're done, just save it. But this time, we're going to save it as a PNT. This will take us back into the Atlas. Now all you have to do is swat at the sail again, click the upload button, Find the actual image that we just saved, and you should see it there. Remember, when you're renaming the files, don't ever get rid of the name after the underscore. You can change the first part, but if you change anything else, it'll screw up the entire process and the game won't read it right. So assuming that you can see it okay, we just upload the image. It'll then tell you what kind of colors you're missing on the right side, if any, and what kind of colors you already have on the left column. Assuming you have all the colors you need, then all you have to do is click the upload button again and it should just upload perfectly. We can repeat the same process for any object. Just craft the object in the game, place it down, swat at it, make a border in black, save it, open it, convert it to PNG, edit in Photoshop, open it in the converter, save it, open it in Atlas. Whew, that's a mouthful. I know it's a little bit confusing, but if you do it a few times, it'll get in your head and you'll be able to do it no problem. When you're done painting on all the objects, you can even try it on yourself or a favorite animal. Painting on yourself is very tedious, and getting an outline can take a really long time, but you can do some really cool tattoos if you have the patience for it. Make sure you're doing tattoo mode in order to get the vibrant colors and the dark contrasts. Now we're going to show you how to do an animal. 
Animals can be very tricky, and this is something that's a little bit more complicated. So if you don't have a lot of time, it's probably best to just kind of skip this part. But let's show it anyways. If you want to do a tiger, for example, we can start by painting the creature in all different colors for different sections of the body. That way, in Photoshop, we'll know which colors represent which parts of the animal. Then, once we have it in Photoshop, we can adjust those sections with patterns if we want, and they should show up with the same area on the animal. Also, the models you're painting on might not really turn out right. The curves around the creature models are very tricky, but if you have enough time for it, you can master it and get some really wicked designs. That wraps it up for this paint lesson. Now get out there and paint the world.